It is raining out there. Thank goodness. What a great way to start off this week. Yeah, it is. In fact, uh, we're going to be seeing that kicking up a notch throughout the day. Julia, it's very active out there for the first Monday of 2021. And getting a look at the temperatures, I'm going to Take a look at the current conditions very quickly here. Right now we're in the 50s for most valley areas starting out the day as that system moves in. 40s in the foothills, 30s to 40s in the mountains. Now, the temperature is well above average. The wind strong this morning and it's going to be picking up throughout the day. Gusts over 50 miles an hour out of the south. Very much possible in many valley areas, especially midday. At the moment we're seeing sustained winds up to 21 miles an hour out of the south and Redding 18 miles an hour out of the south in Red Bluff. Moving forward, we've got a lot going on today. Winter storm warnings in effect through 4 a.m. Tuesday in areas along the west slopes of the Sierra. Here you can see that's down to mostly 5,500 feet, down to 5,000 feet in areas of Siskiyou County. And this is through 10 p.m. tonight in areas of Trinity County, down to 5,000 feet there. Also have a winter weather advisory in effect for areas along the eastern slopes of the Sierra and southern Cascades. That's through 4 a.m. Tuesday. Heavy snowfall very much possible up to a foot of snow down to as low as 5,500 feet. Julia, also a flash flood watch going into effect 10 a.m. this morning through 10 p.m. tonight. The biggest threat is around 11 a.m. this morning through 6 p.m. this evening, though, and the biggest issue that we're facing is areas surrounding the burn scars of the North Complex fires. And what we're going to be seeing for today is potential for thunderstorm activity. Dumping heavy rainfall could be in excess of a half an inch an hour. That's when we really start to worry about mudslides, debris flows, and flooding. Meanwhile, wind advisory also in effect. We've got a lot going on out there today. From this morning at 6 a.m. through 8 p.m. tonight in the valley and northern mountains, gusts up to 55 miles an hour are possible and a high wind warning in effect for Modoc County through 7 p.m. Gusts there up to 70 miles an hour out of the south. Satellite and radar showing you the active weather rolling on in and it's going to continue to ramp up. You're already seeing pockets of heavier rain rolling into uh, Tehama County right now. So valley areas of Glen and Tama County starting to see the heavier rain moving in. That's going to continue to ramp up through this morning. You can see this is all from that low pressure area taking aim at the west coast right now. And that's going to continue to pummel us with rain on the way and high elevation snow. We're also seeing a decent chance for thunderstorms moving through today. You can see in the valley, mainly along the eastern side here, but this does extend all the way from Redding through down to our south into Yuba City. That's the best chance for thunderstorm activity. That's where we're likely to see pockets of heavy rainfall throughout this afternoon into the evening. Meanwhile, getting a look at the future cast heading through today, snow heavy in the mountains, rain heavy in the valley. It looks like the heaviest is going to be early to midday and then starting to taper off as we make our way through this evening. We're dry for the most part on Tuesday. The next round of rain and snow moves through Wednesday into early Thursday. We dry out again Thursday for the afternoon and then another round of rain and snow moving through on Friday. Now, the next two systems, Wednesday evening through early Thursday and Friday into early Saturday, not looking as substantial as what we're seeing today. Upwards of a half an inch of rain looking likely in many valley areas, over an inch in many higher elevations. Heading through later this week, we'll see some of those totals bolstered up to above an inch in the valley. That's great news. Upwards of two inches in many mountain areas. Meanwhile, as you get a look at these snow projections, they're pretty substantial as we head through tomorrow. Upwards of five to six inches of snowfall in areas like Chester and Mineral. So keep that in mind. It's going to make mountain travel a little dicey, especially this evening through early tomorrow. Rain and snow in the forecast for the northern mountains. The snow level there, 4,000 feet with mostly highs in the 40s this afternoon. Highs in the 30s to mid 40s in the Sierra today rain and snow likely the snow level down to 5,000 feet and thunderstorms possible this afternoon and evening rain and a chance for thunderstorms in the foothills today with temperatures anywhere from 40 to 50 degrees this afternoon and if you're in the valley it's rain with that chance for thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon hours Tehama and Shasta County looking very likely to see thunderstorm activity today mid to high 50s for your afternoon with wind out of the south to 30 miles an hour gusts today out of the south up to 55 miles an hour. So keep that in mind. Very wet, very windy, and that potential is there for thunderstorm activity. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast, where your weekend's always in view. 55 degrees for today in Chico with rain and that chance for thunderstorms drying out on Tuesday. Showers then returning Wednesday afternoon through early Thursday. Drying out Thursday afternoon, but another round of wet weather looking likely on Friday. Your low temperatures hovering in the upper 30s to lower 40s this week. High temperatures mostly resting in the 50s with that chance for showers again. A Moving back in Wednesday through Thursday, another round Friday, and then Julia, we mostly look dry as we head through this upcoming weekend, but models hinting at another wet system impacting us next Monday. All right, Court.